Okay, so on Saturday we did not get a cabana. Today we got a cabana, so I'll show that in my video. So we got cabana number 13. The cabanas have like chairs out in front. I, uh, I turned the sign around because obviously I don't want everybody knowing my last name. They do put your last name on the front. Everybody knows who it is. So when you walk in, we have a little refrigerator here. We got a TV. Some lounge chairs, table to sit at. They give you some snacks. We have these snacks here. Another little lounge chair. There is a fan in here with the remote control over here to adjust the fan. There's a plug over here. So they give you everything. This is, this is what the fridge entails. You got drinks on top, fruit, sodas, and waters. So to me, it seems like that this uh, cabana might be worth the money that you pay uh, between all the little fringe benefits you get and the fact that you know you don't have to run and try to get a table. There, were, there was a line a mile long when we first walked in and uh, you saw everybody running in trying to fight for the tables. Uh, we knew that ours was already reserved and that's it. We walked in and took this, this and that was it. All right, so we are gonna head out and we're gonna try some rides. So this is the view from my cabana. That's the children's area. Worked out really good because my son spends a lot of time there. Um, you see there's all different little slides for the little kids, the dumping areas and stuff like that. As soon as you hear that bell, that means that's going to dump. So watch it. You see it dump. The faster the bell gets. There it goes. It's starting to tip. It's starting to tip. Oh! And all the people underneath just got soaked. So we got a ground cabana, which includes these chairs right here, a little sitting area. Um, it also includes the server, so you get a waitress. Um, I don't, I'm not too sure how many are down here. Uh, the highest number I think I've seen is number 19. And I know that they start with the ones up there. As you can see, there's ones up on the second floor where the bar is located. While we were here, uh, we did eat lunch and dinner here. Uh, for lunch, my wife and my son got hot dogs, I got the hamburger, and my daughter actually got a slice of pizza. Um, we have no complaints about the food. Everything was great. I got basically the same burger my wife got last night uh, from Harvey Wallbangers. The hamburger was really good. Uh, as far as the drinks, um, we got a pina colada, and so my wife got a really good drink off the frozen drink menu. It's called a Cabana Banana. In the Cabana Banana, Tino's handmade vodka, banana, dairy, and a chocolate syrup. We both tried it, we both liked it. Definitely get that again. So the cab Cabana's great. Uh, the only negative thing I can really say about the Cabana is uh, the TV volume. With all the noise that you can probably hear in the background, uh, you cannot hear the TV. So if they put like some satellite speakers around the edges, that would be cool. Um, there is a plug in here, so you do have power. Uh, the service here was great, the waitress was great. Uh, the food was good. I have absolutely no complaints. I would definitely get this cabana again. Like I said, the only downfall was you cannot hear the TV. Um, which really isn't a big deal because you won't really sit in here and watch TV a lot. We're basically uh, emptying out the fridge. Um, the fridge, whatever's in there, is uh, included. And then if you if you need more, then it's going to be extra money. But uh, basically, everything that's in the fridge is, is yours. It's included with the cabana. 
Um, and then there were chips and other things, uh, which you probably saw in the earlier video that I made of this. So, so like I said, and you also have a fan in the cabana, which is good, so you get a nice cool breeze. Um, you know, because it is 84 degrees in here, so if you're not swimming, it's nice to be able to sit under a fan. Um, so that's it. All in all, no complaints. For dinner, we bought a large pepperoni pizza. That, that was really good, too. Uh, it was like a nice, thick, crusted pizza. Uh, really, really good. So getting the cabana was definitely worth it. Uh, you know, the service was great. People are always constantly asking us if we're good. So I got to say, the food in the cabana are A-plus in my book. Uh, I know it's a little pricey, but the next time we come, I'm sure we're going to end up getting one again.